forgot something. I forgot something. Now I'm really ready. Now I'm really ready. Come back after my alarm goes off. I'm on a tight beauty sleep schedule. Wouldn't bother going that way if I were you, SpongeBob. Big traffic jam blocking the road up ahead. What? Then how is everyone enjoying food at the Krusty Krab? They aren't. See for yourself. I'm stuck here with the owners of rivaling restaurants, the Chum Bucket and Krusty Krab. Seems like a perfect opportunity to start a documentary about Bikini Bottom's best restaurant. I, 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 I. Good idea! A movie about how delicious the Chum Bucket is would rake in millions. Hey, you know I meant the Krusty Krab. Nobody goes to the Chum Bucket, unless it's to ask for directions away from it. Anyway, officials are still investigating where the nails that caused this chaotic collision came from. Maybe Mr. Krabs can help find the culprit. He did have a truck full of nails delivered the other day. He must know a lot about nails. than an insomniac rooster? In the mood for a little morning karate? Love to, but we'll have to put some padding on that one, Sandy. Patrick and I are about to have the best day ever at Glove World. Do you want to come? Thanks, but you ain't putting no glove on this squirrel. I'd rather seek the thrill of toning exercises and rubber duckies. But if you got a little time to spare, I could use your help hauling out some old junk from my yard. Anything for you, Sandy. I'm ready to haul, y'all. Great job, SpongeBob. My yard's looking fine as fur on a frog. Thanks for your help, and have fun with Patrick. Good morning, best friend. Are you ready for a lovely adventure? Not. Nah. Am I? I stayed up all night pretending I had hands. Two hours later. <laughs> Look, Patrick. Cool kids. <laughs> Hi. <sighs> I wish I could do cool things. This wagon just ominously appeared out of nowhere? Who cares? Hmm. Nah. No, still not cool enough. Huh? Huh. Can I have this? What, this old piece of... magic and mystery? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Madame Cassandra, purveyor of long-lost treasures of the Seven Seas. For those on a budget. Magic bubbled soap. Breathe life into your dreams. They say with this unique bubble maker thingy, you can become whoever you want to be. Receive whatever you want to have. Just bubble your wish into the heavens. Not that it ever worked for me. Woo! A few seconds later. I wish no. I wish no. I wish things. Okay, my first wish is on behalf of my very best friend who loves balloons. I wish for Patrick to have the biggest balloonist adventure of his life. <laughs> balloons! Is it too much to ask for just one day of peace and quiet? How am I supposed to paint my newest masterpiece with you two clowns constantly giggling in my ears? I wish that Squidward will finally be appreciated for his art. What are you two up to? Wait for it. I wish for the whole world to see how amazing Sandy is. Thanks, SpongeBob! Nifty Bubble! <laughs> <laughs> Three hours later. <laughs> 
SpongeBob. What does it mean when it says, only those of innocent heart may harness the power of the mermaid tears? I guess it means I was destined to find this bubble soap. Hey, wait. It also says, property of King Neptune. Not for use by mortals. Use sparingly and with caution. Ah. Uh -oh. Patrick, what have we done? Who would have thought that a magic potion from a mysterious fortune teller in a sketchy wagon could backfire? Yes, it was utterly unforeseeable. Wait a second! Patrick, you're a balloon! Oh, I wish. If I were a balloon, I'd be able to do cool stuff like this! And this! And this! See, SpongeBob? Oh, I am a balloon! That's probably why I've been feeling so bloated lately. We need to find our friends and make sure they're all right! My rock! My beautiful giant rock! All that's left are my... Oh no! My giant sticky notes are gone too! Now how am I gonna remind myself to buy more giant sticky notes? Don't worry, Patrick. I'm sure those sticky notes are around here somewhere. Or there. Or over there. Wait a minute. Maybe all this craziness is from one of Sandy's experiments gone wrong. I bet it's all her fault. I don't think so, Patrick. Sandy's experiments always leave the smell of acorns in the air. All I smell around here is... <gasps> sponge breath and bubble soap. Oh, yeah. That's a good stuff. No, not the Krusty Krab. What will the brave people of Bikini Bottom eat now? And without Mr. Krabs, who will help them unburden their wallets? I need to fix this. Take your wobbly hand off of me. I'm too smart to end like this. You multicellular idiots. Thanks to you, all of Bikini Bottom is sunk into chaos. My restaurant is tipped over, and our poor little spot is missing. You could have at least involved me. That's like, you know, my thing. Correct. Oh, no! Sorry, Plankton. We'll make things right again. You have to fix this before someone besides me can take advantage of this chaos. Correct. Why are you repeating yourself? Is your hard drive skipping again? In. Correct. My adorable cuties, you survived this calamity. No, oh, Madam Cassandra, we were just having fun, but we accidentally used too much of your magic bubble soap and destroyed Bikini Bottom, and now all of our friends are gone, and there's jelly everywhere, and, 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 I miss my Care Bear! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> this is just too perfect. That's not just any jelly, SpongeBob. It's cosmic jelly, the glue of reality. Your bubble stravaganza must have blown holes through the universe, squeezing the jelly out and sucking your friends into new and strange worlds. That was going to be my first guess. You have to bring me as much of it as you can gather so I can study it and... Um, help reverse the mess you've created. After all, I'm at least partially responsible giving you such a powerful potion by accident. Makes sense to me. Uh, no questions here. Excellent. Now jump into the portals that opened up all over town. I can use some of the jelly to tailor cosmic costumes for you, each linked to one portal. The more jelly you bring, the more portals we can pass. Are you ready? I'm ready! 
Come on, let's save Bikini Bottom from the unintended yet devastating consequences of our own actions. <laughs> Find the portal that suits your costume. Once you have located your friends, you can use the magic bubble wand to return them home. One of our friends might be on the other side of this portal! Come on, Patrick! We have to rescue them! It's our friendship duty! Partner, I'm looking for my pal, Mr. Krabs. About yay high, red, lots of money. Crab problem, eh? <laughs> I reckon you're going to want to talk to the sheriff in Manta Fe. Huh? Oh! What is it, SpongeBob? What do you see? Water? Soda? Is soda water? What do you see? Particles, it's so small! We'll never fit in there! Why do we have to be so big? Oh, it's not small, Patrick. It's not? It's just very, very far away. <laughs> We're safe, Patrick! It's Mrs. Puff! If anyone knows where Mr. Krabs is, it's her! <laughs> Howdy, strangers! You came here by foot? That's awfully dangerous. You could dry out in a heartbeat. I get puffy just thinking about it. I get puffy after eating stale food. Hi, my name's SpongeBob, and this balloon is Patrick. We're looking for our friend, Mr. Krabs, but he might not be called Mr. Krabs. He could be traveling under a different name. Oh, like Jeremy. Or Petunia. Or Captain Claus. Or Ronaldo. A crab without a name, huh? Try Manta Fe. It's where everyone without something ends up. Could you give us a ride there? This is a riding school, not a taxi service. However, if you take my test, you could get there yourself with your own riding license. My very own license! Whenever you're ready, meet me by the seahorse. We'll see if you can stay on it all the way to Manta Fe. Uh, Mrs. Puff, I mean, teacher lady, uh, I need to confess that, uh, I've been through this sort of thing before, and, uh, I'm not always the best test taker, so, uh, so, any chance we can skip this part? Oh, nonsense, SpongeBob. <laughs> A little rodeo never hurt anyone who survived it. Ready? Set? Dear, you have six points. <laughs> Out of seven! <laughs> Only one point away from passing! Yay! Oh, can we repeat the test? It was so much fun. Oh, no! That's not necessary. I, I didn't know you had fun. Fun is worth an extra point. Here's your license. Thanks, partner! A license! <laughs> Oh, I don't think she can. This license only allows me to ride seahorses and seahorse-like animals. With the exception of... Uh, this doesn't say anything about boatmobiles. Well, once boatmobiles have been invented, I'll just have to take the test again. I mean, it's the sheriff. Now look what the snail dragged in. You may be yellow as mustard, but you got the bite. Oh, don't bite. Too unsanitary. I'm looking for my friend, Mr. Krabs. Have you seen him? 
He's got big, beautiful eye stalks and tiny little legs. I'm off duty for the dole, sweetie, but hey, if you can take me, I might look into your case. Yo, Ann, better get yourself a straw partner and make sure it sits straight. We're gonna have ourselves a nice little cactus soda showdown. There ain't a sea critter alive that can drink more soda than me. You're going down faster than a baby at nap time. Jelly Bandit! Ain't you fuller of surprises than my socks after a sandstorm? Taking on them Jelly Bandits like that? Let's see what you're really made of. Grab your straw! Doggone it, we're out of cactus soda! Ever since this red-handed bandit's bandits took over our cactus farms, we've been running low on supplies. Any chance you can go up to Cactin Hills and fetch some more cactus juice for us? The sooner we can finish our duel, the sooner I can solve your crab case. Don't you worry, Sheriff. Deputy SpongeBob. And Balloon Deputy Patrick. Are on the case. I don't like cactuses. They're not even pretty. They're just green, juicy, and thorny. Like a cucumber that hurts your mouth when you eat it. Don't worry, Patrick. We'll be out of here as soon as we find more cactus juice. Uh-oh. Looks like it wants to duel. Maybe that kind of familiar-looking gentleman can point us in the right direction. Howdy, sir. I'm SpongeBob SquarePants. Have we met before? Hey, cowboy. Uh, sorry, uh, you don't ring any bells. But I couldn't help but overhear you talking about entering the cactus beverage business. That demands a strong spine. I suggest hiring a consultant to guide you. For a wee share of, um, 70%, I'll tell you where to find the cacti with the most refreshing sap. Folks pay insane amounts of money for them since the shortage. 70%? That sounds a bit fishy. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say 70? I meant, um, 80, of course. Now we're talking. Just keep going till you reach them Cacteen Hills. And don't ye scam your hard-working consultant. I'm only taking 90% of the business. Come on, Patrick. Let's find those thorny cucumbers. <laughs> <laughs> Funny meeting you here. Just, uh, checking on the barrels. You know, keeping them safe from bandits. There's juicy profit, I mean, uh, cacti, all around these parts. Now get! <laughs> you got a knack for reaching them cacti. Just drop the juice in this here barrel for, uh, <laughs> safekeeping. One barrel down. Follow that trail, my little saps. Oh, I'm gonna need more sap than that, boy -o. Get away from me, creepy, squishy weirdos. Get your own corpses, not mine! Could you please let me rest in peace? Help! Uh -huh. Oh, hello. I would say thank you, stranger. Call me SpongeBob. But for what? The damage is already done, and I'll never get this mess cleaned up in time for the ceremony. Ceremony? Like a wedding or a birthday party? Is there cake? <gasps> Can we have some, please, Squidward? Who the trench is Squidward? My name is Jeff Tentacles Jr. And it's not a party, mold brain. It's a commemoration. For the late Billy the Bass, the last real cowboy. But look at this. This is a disaster. Don't you worry, Squidward. Uh, Jeff, us cowboys always stick together. Oh, please. If you two are cowboys, then I'm a saloon girl. If only two Samaritans could tidy up before the mourners arrive. Until then, I guess I'll have to keep this cemetery locked up. 
Why don't we clean this mess up for you? What a great idea you independently developed here. You go ahead. I'll be over there in the shade, relaxed, uh, thinking. Thinking about your cowboy needs. Whatever. Everything tidy? Great! Now get so I can take a nap before the mourners arrive. Huh? Howdy, strangelings! What brings you to this whole place? If you're after gold, get lost! It's all mine! We really, really need to get back to the surface, Mr. Miner, sir. Our friend Soda depends on it. Well, I could let you use my elevator. But what's in it for me? Anything you want. There's nothing that this amazing duo can't get. Good! That darn Alaskan bullworm is obsessed with my gold. Knocks my shiny tooth out. Bam! Just like that. If you can get my tooth, I can get you up to the surface. I would have been a gold nugget. You'd be worm food by now. But since you survived, did you find my tooth? Do snails leave slime in the woods? Of course! Whatever you say. The elevator's all yours, boys. Oh, and I don't know what you did down there, but it left a powerful stink on you. An eternity later. They're stealing our soda supplies! Hurry up, Patrick! We got ourselves a train to catch! May I? <laughs> Sweet Davy Jones Locker SpongeBob, I know you mean well, but you gotta let me stay! Please! You're under arrest, red-handed bandit! Like, like I was saying, SpongeBob, you gotta take me back! I beg you! This old soft shell won't last a day in jail! Sorry, Sheriff. I'm taking this one in. I sure should stop drinking so much cactus soda on the job. Oh, me boy -oh. That sure taught me a valuable lesson. That it's not all about money? What? No, no, oh, no, 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 no. It's always about money. I, 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 but I did learn that I can't put a price on me employee of the month. I'm here to help, Mr. Krabs. We'll find Pearl and the Krusty Krab and bring them back on the double. That's a good lad. Now, off you go. I'm sure you can get around a little faster now with those new riding skills of yours. There are still a lot of friends to bring back home, Patrick. Let's ride! SpongeBob, I need your help. Sheldon's pride would never allow him to ask, but your mischief tipped over the chum bucket, and we need you to stand it back up. We already built a meticulously calculated rig, but Sheldon didn't account for his own <clears throat> slight stature. Excuse me, there are more important things than knocked over trash cans. It's not a trash can, it's a bucket, and it's Bikini Bottom's sole restaurant. I know everyone would love to be eating out of a bucket right now, but the fate of the entire universe is currently hanging in the balance. No biggie, I'm sure the universe can hang in there until we've helped a friend in need. I don't get why this doesn't work. My calculations are flawless. Maybe we can help. I don't need your help. But if you want to make up for this whole mess, I guess I would allow you to assist me. Here, use this super velocitous momentum enhancer that I invented to get the job done. Ooh, is that a bubble surfboard? Yes, but I gave it a fancy name, so I get the credit. <laughs> I've never been in here before, but since the Krusty Krab is gone, I guess I have no choice. Does this place offer anything edible? Technically, yes. We citizens of Bikini Bottom must stand together in these trying times. So, let it be known that the Chum Bucket will humbly accept its role as the town's sole source of sustenance. 
You fools! <laughs> Plankton, I always suspected that deep down you were a contributing member of society. And don't worry, Patrick and I won't stop until we put everything back to normal, so no one has to eat at the chum bucket ever again. Oh my, yes. So much pure, unadulterated jelly, so much raw power. To create your next costume. You should find it very familiar, but don't let appearances fool you. When you step through the next portal. <laughs> My karate gear, the most stylish outfit I own. Get it, give up! Oh, SpongeBob and Patrick are on their way! I have to admit, totally would have expected someone bigger for the part. But everyone seems small to me. <laughs> Sorry, am I oversharing? It's my first day, and I'm so nervous! Film starts in one minute and 58 seconds. Uh, no, 57. Uh, script up. Uh, 50. Uh, just hurry up. Statistically speaking, the director's assistants only last 0.87 days before they're let go. I need to do better. Chop, chop, this way. He isn't the patient kind or the understanding kind or the kind kind. What are you still doing here? Please go to the exit or I will get fired. The director is waiting for you. Huh? How did you get here so fast? She must have cut the line, Patrick. <laughs> what squirt of an actor did those at the agency lay upon me. I promised them art, and how do they repay me? I demanded a hero, not a little yellow marshmallow. Did you shrink by spending too much time in a hot tub? <sighs> Hi, Mr. Director, sir. I'm SpongeBob. Filming starts in nine, uh, eight, seven, uh, really soon. Can't those uncultured casting urchins comprehend that I... I am allowing them to be part of what is sure to be the greatest film sensation ever to hit the sea. But don't lose heart. I still have the talent to turn you into a tool of destructive beauty. Oh, goody! In the scene, you must fight your way through gang-infested city streets. And don't walk out of frame. <laughs> Wow, what a beautiful bubble! I want to pop it! You can't! It is indestructible magic thanks to the jelly you're collecting for my, um, our cause. Cassandra, are you sure this is the right place to find Sandy? The portal brought you right where you're supposed to be. Don't resist the jellyverse. Instead, take it, store it, and bring it to me. Besides, the jelly whispered that you've done some commercial work. Don't your square pants long to be in the spotlight once more? You're right! If it means saving Sandy and the world, then I'll just have to act my square heart out. Thanks, Cassandra! If I wanted to see a wimp run around, I'd be directing Wimp Racer 2, like my agent told me to. This is a karate film! But I guess I have to work with what I've got. Let's start with something simple. A karate kick! Now, to really prove that you know how to embody a great hero of karate, I have prepared a little challenge for you. Across the roofs of the city. Now, kick down that door and get moving! Short, yellow, and spongy! There's a lot of paparazzi hiding on this set who wish to smear the director's reputation by capturing the fishy side of his process. Which obviously doesn't exist. It would be real cool if you could distract them with some of your fancy moves. I will make myself extra picturesque.
You did it, Mr. Sponge! The security guard will let you pass now. <laughs> That's it! A real Karate King has to prove cat-like reflexes. I feel inspiration is about to strike. I found craft services! Those um, volunteers in the box <laughs> will help you train your reflexes. When someone pretends to escape, whack them! Won't that hurt them? That's legally impossible. The contracts clearly state that they, quote, can't be harmed. Well, I guess that makes sense. But wait, Patrick didn't sign a contract. What, what? Oh, fine. Then don't whack him when he appears. It'll help test your, um, concentration. Now, let's go. We're burning valuable spotlight. Bravo! You're not entirely useless as long as you keep moving. Now head back onto the streets. The next screen test is about to start. Go! Move it! In this scene, your nemesis tried to rob a bank and left nothing but chaos. Innocent bystanders got stuck in the ground and need their hero. Believe it or not, that's you. Save them before the time runs out. Thanks to my genius, your performance has become tolerable. Now go ahead and strike some heroic karate poses for the press. Don't go method on me and disappear into your character. Remember why you're there. To get me more jelly. Uh, don't you mean to save Sandy? Right, of course. And also to save your squirrel friend. If you want to convince my audience that you're the real Karate King, you have to be as fast as a leopard. Or was it a cheetah? Whatever. Hop into the red boat and chase down your nemesis. But I don't have a driver's license. Throw your squishy bottom on some vehicle you're allowed to drive and get on with it! Ooh, sleek lines! Comfortable seat, no slip pedals. Definitely has the cool factor. This is my ride, baby! I almost forgot to mention, all the danger is real, and we've taken no safety precautions to up the drama. I thought this film would be a train wreck, but the director went all out. Those jelly extras were very convincingly beating me up. Well, we thespians do take our jobs pretty seriously. And his choice for the villain? Wow! I just caught a glimpse. That's a wild animal if ever I've seen one. Listen, you talking cheese. You're not getting paid an exposure for chit-chat. If you want to convince my audience you're the real Karate King, you better show them some impressive acrobatics. Now, run across the roofs of the skyscraper to get into your nemesis fortress. Could I just use the elevator? Oh, look, it's Sandy. I mean, oh, look, Sandy. Well, if that ain't the sponge they call Bob and his biggest dad lunatic partner Patrick stepped through my door. Actually, we came in through the roof. Is, is that right? Well, you'll be leaving through the floor, cause I'm in a mood, and my mood is karate! Nobody mm -hmm. watches a film for the dialogue. My audience demands colors and motion converging into visual conflict. We need crash, boom, bang, not yap, yap, yap. Now throw out the stupid script. There's a script? And action! Uh, so Spongebob and Patrick 
Patrick managed to rewind their climactic karate Sponge clash Bob! with the Sponge power Bob! of cosmic challenge. Did that explosion give you a concussion? You remember to sign the waiver, right? I never thought you'd pull it off. But that was actually fantastic! I can already see the sequel. Nay, the trilogy. Let's start shooting immediately! Light, camera, sound! From the top, people! And... No problem, Sandy, but there's still a lot to make right again. See you around. Cassandra, please help. We have to find my house. Without that, I'm just a common talking sponge. Sorry, Spongy. I'm just a little preoccupied fixing the fabric of the entire universe that you blew apart. Cassandra, will you please help us fix my house? Sure, right after we fix your friends, your town, the cosmic order of everything. Oh, my beautiful home. And a delicious pineapple. Here, why don't you take this cosmic costume and enter the portal? Yo ho! All fingers crossed my pineapple is still in one piece. It's just the Flying Dutchman. He has my pineapple, too? That fruit-stealing freebooter is taking this too far. Mr. Dutchman, sir, you have to get your ship back so I can get my pineapple back. But prawns blew out all me precious socks. No pirate worth their salt would follow a sockless captain. And if I can't round up a crew, we won't stand a chance against the Admiral. You don't need socks to be a pirate. Why, Patrick here has never worn socks a day in his life. I don't even have feet. So, if you need a couple of loyal sea dogs, Patrick and I will gladly join your crew. Socks or no socks. <laughs> all right, all right, but first, these scallywags. You must prove that ye are real pirate material. To show that you are worthy, you must unearth a real treasure. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Earn yourselves fearsome pirate names. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And find army sucks! I still want them back. Aye, aye, Captain Dutchman, sir! Aye, aye, Captain Dutchman, sir! Oh. SpongeBob? Patrick? You're here too? I thought it was just me and the anchovies. How did we get here? Well, uh, we can talk about that later. What's important right now is getting you and the anchovies and my pineapple back to Bikini Bottom. Say, where are the anchovies? That obnoxious shrimp rounded us up and made his jelly minions stick us to shipwrecks all over the lagoon. He said we're not pirate material. It isn't my fault I have a severe eye patch allergy. Don't 
Don't lose heart, Larry. We're going to rescue every bikini bottomite who's stuck here. Or our names aren't SpongeBob and Patrick the... the pirate guys. That's not a very fearsome pirate name. Ah, uh, we're working on it. Thank you, SpongeBob. I'm going home to tan and pump. Young lad, this sure is your lucky day. I knew it, but why? I've asked ye, before ye stand to notorious pirate captain Pinza Rosa. I need some saps, I mean a crew, who can haul, I mean share, me treasure, I mean... Wait, no, yeah, I meant treasure that time. Oh boy, treasure! Right, well you seem deserving and present. Now, to share me treasure, you'll first have to get it out of an old shipwreck. It ran off course and hit some rocks in the middle of the lagoon. Someone who was totally not me must have been holding the map upside down. Anyhow, I would get the treasure myself, but <laughs> I'm far too rich to do a crewman's work. Lucky day indeed, Patrick. With that treasure, we can prove we're real pirates. Technically, you won't be, though. I can't be bothered with the bureaucracy of registering a new crew. Or paying for them. Will we at least get real pirate names? Sure, why not? Then we're ready. Uh, uh. <sighs> She's pretty. Pardon me, miss. Why so glum? Uh, because I, like, totally lost my joy, and without it I can't sing, which is, like, totally not cool for mermaids and stuff. Maybe it's in your fridge. Whenever I need joy, I can always find it in my fridge. The last time I had my joy was, like, when I was, like, dancing with my girlfriends, but they're not, like, here, and even if they, like, were, there's no music. But music is everywhere. All you need are some instruments in your hands and a little rhythm in your heart. SpongeBob, let's make some music! Then maybe we could go on a dance date? Sure, like as a friend? Uh, I promised myself I'd never date a balloon again. Also, I'm like way more into dating pirates now anyway. What about balloon pirates? Come on, Patrick. I bet we can find some stuff floating around that we can use as instruments. Then we can serve up some music. <laughs> I don't get it. You helped me, even though this was, like, totally not your problem. To show my gratitude, I will grant you, like, a wish or whatever. I wish that SpongeBob and I could reach the treasure on the grounded ship so we could become, like, you know, like, like... Totally date-worthy pirates! Like, have a safe flight, my melodic friends! Shiver me timbers! You're alive? I mean, welcome back! You truly earned your pirate names. From now on, you shall call yourselves, I don't know, whatever you can think of. Hey, you never said there'd be thinking involved. I have a mermaid to impress, so you better make good on your promise. Come about with that volume, me airheaded lad, before you alert the lagoon guard. They're a ruthless bunch who'll stop at nothing to get their fins on me treasure. So, of course you'll be compensated for all your thinking with this beautifully crafted treasure chest. Contents not included. Wow, the chest is the best part. Anything you put in a treasure chest becomes treasure. I should let Gary sleep in there. Okay, fine. But I still want a cool pirate name. <laughs>
SpongeBob. Thank Neptune. How did you get here? Eh, the usual. Magical bubbles, reckless wishing, tearing apart the very fabric of space and time. I won't bore you with the details. Just know that we are here to set things straight. Oh, good. These restraints are so tight, I can't feel my leg anymore. Uh, I think your leg will be okay, as long as you stay away from termites. My leg! Yet? Well, we do have a real treasure chest. The Dutchman saw treasure. The finest pirate I ever knew went by Jeff. So you can be the oh, I don't know Square One. That's not fair. I wanted to be Square One. Well, you can be. Square two? Sure! Whatever! Oh! Battle Shark! How I missed you! All right, you're part of me crew now! It'll be grueling, mind-numbing, and repetitive! Just like cleaning a litter box! <laughs> Square one! Use the wind bombers and flying boats to get yourselves onto me ship! Once on board, hoist me last sock and fire the huge cannon! That should signal me old crew to join us and revel in the destruction of Ahem. the downfall of dismissal? The dismissal of Admiral Prawn! <laughs> We're taking back this ship, Prawn! And my pineapple! What's the matter, Rectangle Boy? Pining for something special? <laughs> I will make you walk the plank. The only thing I will be walking is the road of friendship. And that road leads right to Victory Town. So bring it on. <laughs> Eeny, meeny, miny, mo! Get your shrimp by the toe and crush him! Ahem. Fine! No crushing! Aw, home sweet pineapple! Let's get you back to the eeny bottom, huh? Next stop, 124 Comp Street! Sweet pineapple. But it isn't home without Gary. Patrick, we have to find him. What are you doing, Plankton? Get your charm off me buns! Sounds like Plankton and Mr. Krabs are getting along great. Uh, maybe I should check on him, just in case. If you weren't grilling those patties like an amateur has never cooked before, I wouldn't have to use my chum. Just follow my lead. If I was following your lead, me precious patties would taste like your disgusting chum! Mr. Krabs, what are you doing here? Are you working with Plankton? I had no choice. The poor citizens of Bikini Bottom were starving. I couldn't let him eat the garbage Plankton was serving. I'm right here. So we struck a deal to feed those poor, hungry mouths. So long as they pay, of course. Well, if you don't hurry with those patties, Krabs, nobody will be fed. Then you'll have to say goodbye to your sweet money. SpongeBob, you gotta help us. You're the only one I trust with me secret formula. Could you fix us some more Krabby Patties? I'm on it, Mr. Krabs. Thanks, boyo. I know how you like playing dress up, so I've got a little reward for helping out your favorite employer. I couldn't help but overhear you miss your little pet snail, Walter. Gary. Right, Gary. Well, with this cosmic costume, you should be able to enter the portal he was sucked into. 
but watch out, honey. That snail of yours is in big, big trouble. What? Don't give up, Gare Bear! I'm coming for you! <laughs> Look at these creatures, Patrick! They're... Funny? No, scary! Oh, yeah, yeah, that was gonna be my second guess. No, this whole place is frightening. It's cold, it's moist, and it smells like the dumpster behind the chum bucket. Well, that sure sounds a lot like this puddle of ooze you're standing in. Ew! It must be the remains of the victims of the monster that came through here. We have to hurry and find Gary! <laughs> Shouldn't we help this candy find a warm and safe place? Too bad I left my candy bar bag in my candy bar bag carrying bag. I guess I have to put it in my mouth instead. Wait a t wait a tide. Something about this ooze seems very f <laughs> mm -hmm. calcium with a faint trace of protein and lots of love. That's not ooze, that's slime! Gary slime! That is a lot of slime for such a tiny snail. He must be so scared. We gotta find him! <laughs> Excuse me, have you seen... I'm afraid I have not. I'm in the middle of crucial organizing business for the Snail Cup. If you want to enter the race, you need to pay the participation fee of five candy bars. Trick or treat! I've been trying to find chocolate for three days. There's almost nothing left. Except for, well, I could tell you, but you have to promise to split the spoils. I'm all ears! Well, actually, I'm mostly cellulose, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, a weird and very heavy rock crashed behind my house. Right on my chocolate shed. Maybe you can move it. Here, let me open the gate for you. Chocolate! Chocolate! Finally, chocolate! Trick or treat? Ooh, look at you! What a nice costume! How can I help you, young fellows? Candy! Candy, 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 candy! Oh, of course, sweetie. Here, have a candy bar. Wow, vintage! Thanks! Trick or treat! I can't understand your accent. Trick or treat. Oh, why didn't you say so? Here, have a candy bar. And nice costume, by the way. Thank you. Trick or treat! Have you seen my snail? Tiny, cute, sweet, with very expressive eyelashes. If he's really sweet, then the monster probably took him. It ruined everyone's Halloween by stealing our sweets. The last time it was seen, it crawled down the racing track. I think the track probably leads all the way to its lair. There it feasts on innocent candy and pets. Poor Gary. Patrick, we need to find more candy to get on that racing track. Here, have one of my candy bars for the participation fee. Your awesome costume deserves it. Thanks. Trick or treat! Sweet Neptune, are you insane running around like this? Don't you know people have phobias? Sorry, I didn't know my costume was that scary. What are you afraid of? Boxes, man, boxes. You never know what'll be inside or where they'll take you. And then it's too late. And you look just like one. All square-like. 
Sometimes boxes have good things in them, like Krabby Patties. Oh, yeah. I guess you're right. Here's some candy. Thank you. Balloons? Don't you know people have phobias? That you again. Did you bring the participation fee candy? With nuts. Fancy. Now keep still. This is going to hurt. Wait, what? It's a snail race. You have to be a snail and fast. Go! <laughs> Ghostliest ghost, the terrifyingest terror, the one, the only, the Flying Dutchman! Oh, look, another Flying Dutchman costume. This ain't no costume! I'm the real deal! Yeah, uh, that's what they all said, too. Bust those imposters! Running around as wannabe ghosts! I will make them all suffer! I'll curse each of them, so any time they want to go somewhere, they'll always get stuck walking behind someone slightly slower than them. <laughs> Forever! <laughs> Maybe there's a less suffery way, Mr. Dutchman, sir? Could we just replace all other costumes? Well, it's not as scary, but it would save me a couple of hours of cursing. Okay, fine. Take these old Halloween costumes from my shipmates. They don't need them anymore, since they're ghosts. Now, find those pretenders! And we dress them. Well done, little sponge. Here, take this costume I found as a reward. It's certainly more scary than the ones you have. Wear it, if you dare. Thank you, Mr. Dutchman. Now I have to go. There's many a rope in need of a good knot. Patrick, you, you're glowing. Wh who said that? How do you know my name? It's me, Patrick. I thought I was Patrick. No, I'm SpongeBob, you're Patrick. <laughs> Sandy! I mean, <clears throat> Sandy. The name's Candy, with a C as hard as the toffee in Grandma's candy dish. Thank you for bringing the power back. We're looking for my pet snail, Gary. He got lost. Probably kidnapped by a monster. Have you seen him? Haven't seen your pet around, I'm afraid. But that monster? They say its lair is in the museum. It's dangerous. But it might be your best chance of finding your little critter. Sounds reasonable. We should ask this monster if it's seen Gary. Patrick, I don't think monsters can talk. You know what? My little monster theater has been reset. You mind giving me a hand with putting it back in order? If you do, I'll open the way to the museum for you, so you can go look for that monster and your friend. I don't like it, but if there's a chance Gary is with this monster, we have no other choice. Oh, poor Gary. Let's get this theater fixed. <laughs> your floating buddy out of here before there's an audience arriving. Can't have a scary show with this jolly balloon bobbing about. Told you. Look at all those snails the monster kidnapped. Look, it's Gary. So how do we save Gary without that monster snail seeing us? Gary is the monster snail. Huh? They grow up so fast, don't they? These massive amounts of candy bars must have given him a sugar rush. We can't take him back home like this. We have to cut off his candy supply first. Already on it, buddy!
that whole museum down. We have to get him out of here before we're all buried in the rubble. But Gary is still giant! Don't worry. I'm sure he'll go back to normal once we get him home. I sure hope you're right, Patrick. I've never been wrong about anything yet. For once in my life, I think I might have been wrong. is covered in snail slime. I just had it cleaned when I moved in, too. I know it's a very challenging situation, but could you stop yammering? I'm trying to concentrate. Uh, that was sheer luck. <clears throat> uh, speaking of which... Good news! I found that squiddy neighbor of yours. Just uh, give me more jelly and your new cosmic costume will get you to him. Maybe I'll just stay here and nap under my rock. Oh, sorry, Patrick. Balloons and heavy rocks don't go well together. Besides, we have to save Squidward. Fine. But Squidward owes me a nap when we find him. Hold oh, tight, Squidward. Your two favorite people in the world are coming to rescue you. <laughs> Petgar, Manaka. Spushigar. No blah blah? Ungra. Uh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Now 
Oh God, my leg up, my leg Unga, not coral sponge car. Uh oh. <laughs> Trapped here with two morons? No! <laughs> On the jokey! Sponge gong, gada, bada, bada, bagam, banga, aga. Uh, Squidward, I don't know if you've noticed, but I want you to hear it from me first. Uh, you're still talking like a cave squid. Hmm. Looks like Squidward's vocabulary is stuck between the cosmic rifts. Madam Cassandra will help us get it back. My favorite sponge lackey has returned. With lots of jelly, I hope. Aye, aye, Cassandra. But can you use it to restore Squidward's vocabulary? It kind of got lost in all the cosmic chaos. This precious jelly is not to be wasted on the minor inconveniences of a bald sea critter. This is about the big, the really big, the biggest picture! My once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for world domin- I mean saving. Saving the world. Mm-hmm. Well, if you can't help Squidward, I gotta find someone who can. Someone who has a way with words. Someone with a vast vocabulary. But who? Oh, how about Gary? That's a great idea. Gary's a well-read master of linguistic finesse, and he definitely has a book or two that'll help Squidward. Let's check out his library right away. Yeah, plus he knows how to say meow. Oh, boy. Well, when you finish that, here's a new cosmic costume for your next jelly run. Tip. Oh, boy. I always get hungry when we go to a library. Don't you remember what happened last time, Patrick? The no food and drink sign is there for a reason. The food on the sign is what always makes me hungry. The book will help you find the right words again, Squidward. After all, it helped Gary to learn all those fancy expressions he uses. <sighs> I hope all our missing friends are still okay. It's up to us to bring them back. into thine princess's window. Fear not, my Whaley. It is Sir Spongebob of Bikini Bottom, here to rescue you with his loyal squire, Patrick. Square Patrick? I thought you were the square one. Unless, have I been Spongebob all along? Stop it, your childish shenanigans if Oh, forget it. Listen, SpongeBob. I'm about to throw the most coral slumber party the sea has ever seen. There's going to be cake and a band and popular girls from all corners of the realm. And they're all coming to celebrate their love for me, the princess. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. This rescue mm -hmm. might take a little longer than I was expecting, Patrick. You should call me SpongeBob. Oh, whatever. Bye. <gasps> We broke the bubble wand! How are we gonna get home now and save Pearl? No problem! We can fix it easy peasy! All you gotta do is find all the pieces, lick them, stick them back together! Cassandra won't even notice. Patrick, that's brilliant! Let's hope it works on magic bubble wands! I will, just like when I broke, uh, fixed your TV and your bookshelf and Gary's food bowl. 
Yes! Where doth you think you are going? There are options? I want to go to Finland! Only those who come bearing invitations may enter. And even then, there's no boys allowed. Unless they're in the band. Are you in the band? Tragically, my duties robbeth the princess of the elevating experience that are my melodies. I am forced to cast other, more mediocre talents. And tell sea urchins like yourself to get out of here! Look, Patrick! I think there's some animal trapped in this cage! Oh boy, oh boy, maybe it's a giraffe! We should probably free it from its cage, whatever it is. Look, Patrick, have you ever seen such a majestic Ooh. creature? The colorful mane, the sparkly <laughs> eyes, and that piece of bubble wand in its mouth. Quick, we have to catch it! <laughs> Who's a good girl? You are! You are! Salutations, Yellow Knight! Isn't she a good girl? I'm Twitchy the Witchy! And what brings you to my cabin in the woods? Greetings, Miss Witchy. I'm Sir SpongeBob. My balloon buddy Patrick and I followed your... uh... handsome pet. Because it took something of ours. Could you maybe convince it to give it back? Sorry, but if Rainbow finds it, I keep it. However, I might trade it for some of that miraculous Wrinkly's Pro Aging Cream my coven has been buzzing about. They say it can wrinkle your skin enough to make you look twice your age. You got it, Twitchy! <laughs> One batch of Wrinkly's Pro Aging Cream coming right up! How hard can it be to pick up some cosmetics? It can only be found in the most dangerous part of the woods, along the banks of the rushing river of Meanderson. There should be some left from the last shipment the baby-faced bandits raided. Fill up this bucket and I may trade you for it. You got it! Oh, you're still alive? Good for ye! The last few heroes I sent out for cream never returned. The wrinkling has begun. Good you two. Now beat it. Oh, thank you, ma'am. But first, we have a wand to repair. <laughs> Hand me that thing so I can fix it and you can leave me alone. Mm -hmm. Now get lost! What a pro! Hear ye, hear ye. With the most excellent slumber party of all time almost upon us, the Princess of Wales calls on the Kingdom's bards to heed her casting... uh... call. There is space yet for two poets who can earn the approval of her royal party planner's unforgiving eardrums. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Patrick? Definitely! But where are we going to find a school bus full of mayonnaise on such short notice? What? No, I meant we should try out for the band so we can get into the castle and save Pearl. Oh, yeah! That's what I meant, too. Another bard, another migraine. But what doesn't one sacrifice for the crown? One's talent, one's pride, one's eardrums. But our royal blowhole decreed that not one of her subjects is to be turned away. Because everybody's got a talent. Ah. Thou have until I follow the sleep of thine mediocrity to earn my admiration, amazeth me. Hear ye, hear ye. 
Regretfully, the yellow sponge and his annoying balloon shall be royal bards at the princess's most excellent slumber party. The audience seemed to like their, uh, music. And besides, I have already rejected all the other contestants. Thou may enter the castle. Don't screw it up. <laughs> These weird, squishy monsters ruined my slumber party! The waiting staff have all fled! Who will serve my guests their well-earned cake slices? You? As if! I'm a princess, you royal doofus! That would be totally uncoral! Gosh, Pearl! I mean, Princess Pearl! I'm sorry! Don't worry! Patrick and I will serve the epic cake! Let them eat cake! My slumber party was a success after all. Now let's get out of here. Maybe I can still make it to the sale of the mall. Yeah, the mall. That's absolutely still there. Probably. Uh, now then, I'll just use the magic bubble wand to whisk us away. This music is terrible. Thankfully, a true bard is here now. Let the real festivity begin. Best party ever! I could totally hug you right now, but I don't want to pop you. <laughs> yeah, I get that a lot. I'm not a balloon, you can still hug me! <sighs> okay, I guess you've earned it! Ah! We did it, Patrick! Everyone is safely back in Bikini Bottom. Now we just need to find the Krusty Krab so I can go to work tomorrow. Well, I wish I could go to work. This day off has been exhausting! Just don't tell any of the popular kids at school that I hugged you! Now I have to go find my dad to make sure he's okay! What's driving me to the mall? They're having a sale on princess dresses! <laughs> Later! Oh no! Gary is gonna destroy Bikini Bottom! Did we already do that? I hope he doesn't get hurt. We have to get him back down to normal snail size. Maybe something from another world can help him. Hmm, like a potion that does something magical. Well, magic is what caused this mess in the first place, but not potions. Morrow, Ms. Twitchy, would you happen to know of a magic potion that could shrink a giant snail back down to normal size? Hmm, giant snail, huh? Well, I got a potion for giant scallops, but that should work. Probably. Uh, just bring me the ingredients on this list. Can you make a potion that turns me back to normal, too? Ooh, something tells me you were never normal to begin with, kid. You are a good judge of character. What? Oh, you even picked up my bacon, egg, and cheese. Thanks, I was starving. All right, I'll go brew your magic potion one sec. Thanks, Twitchy. Gary will be so happy. Oh, I know that breakfast sandwich was meant to be eaten. What? Care Bear, you're back! Oh, I promise you'll never have to take another bath. Just stay away from candy, okay? I almost have all the sweet, sweet jelly I need to fix your little mishap. But watch out, my darling. Your next journey will take you to a place where fun and fear have become one and the same. You'll have to go back to the amusement park called Glove World. Yay! We'll see about that. Your costume is almost complete. But to get you into Glove World, it's missing one more ingredient. The breath of a pufferfish. Maybe Mr. 
Mrs. Puff knows where we can get the breath of a pufferfish. After all, she is a teacher. This help! Help! Someone besides SpongeBob, help! Don't worry, Mrs. Puff. We'll get you back down. I most certainly won't. Oh, please, 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 please. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Good luck, SpongeBob. Don't mess this up. Don't worry, Mrs. Puff. We have this under control. <laughs> Mrs. Puff sure must have fun doing this all the time. <laughs> Am I right, Patrick? Agent Poor Bearer calling for best friend support. Over. Pa Patrick. Game over. First, I lost Bikini Bottom. And now I've lost my best friend. Loser. <laughs> no, I can't lose as long as I keep trying. I'm going to find Patrick, and together we will bring Bikini Bottom back to normal. of a glove without love. I'm gonna go with G. <laughs> Stop smothering him. It's time I realized even the best glove can be cold. I won't let that happen to you, glovey glove. It's just hard to see your childhood heroes hit rock bottom. Don't worry, Patrick. I have something with me that can cheer up our friend. A Squidward action figure? Even better! You have a world of friends! You're right. I have a world of friends. They all adore my fixed smile and my haunting blank stare. Thank you. I always knew you'd come for me, SpongeBob. 
I will never leave you out of my sight ever again, Patrick. You're my best friend ever. Don't worry, Glovey Glove. I'll get Bikini Bottom back to normal and get lots of visitors back into Glove World to love you just like we do. SpongeBob! You toxic yellow polluter! We've gotten reports from multiple sources with the same megalomaniacal voice that you are responsible for all this trash around the Krusty Krab and the Chum Bucket. You either pick it up or you pick jail! Whoa! I don't know where all this trash came from, but I do love to pick things up! Plus, it'll give me a chance to work with Bikini Bottom's finest, the Garbage Men! Sign me up! All clear! Time to take this trash where it belongs. Damn that. I... Welcome back to Glove World, SpongeBob. I'm so happy to see you again. Don't worry, I won't throw anything at you this time. <laughs> anyway, complete all the new challenges around Glove World, and I'll give you a prize almost as handsome as yourself. <laughs> Have fun. You did it. You made this old glove so proud. That's promised. Here's your prize. <laughs> SpongeBob SquarePants, this time you took things too far. Well, well, well. His Royal Heine finally decided to show up. This snail oil saleswoman broke into my royal bath time chamber and stole my bubble soap. She never posed any real danger until your cat do attitude enabled her. Do you have any idea how much power she'll wield once she has enough jelly? Silence! I am now the queen of the ocean, and with the power of the cosmic jelly, I will reshape the seas according to my wishes. <laughs> SpongeBob, I have tolerated your annoying little slip-ups for years now, but I have had it. Because of you, I have been kidnapped, I had to relearn to speak, and my toilet is clogged with jelly. Enough is enough. You know what? It's not that bad. I'll just get the plunger. You're going nowhere, my delicious little rage muffin. You have the perfect attitude to be my new pet. Word. I'm so glad you're back to normal. Yeah, what happened? And why does my mouth taste like jelly? I have to hand it to you, SpongeBob. Your quirky approach did what the Royal Guard failed to do. You apprehended Madame Cassandra. Of course, you also empowered her to nearly destroy us all. But that's jelly under the bridge now. No, 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 no. <laughs> As a reward for your outstanding bravery, I shall grant you one final wish, so make it count. After today, there's only one thing I can wish for, and that is... That was fun! I wish we could do it all over again! Patrick, Patrick, no! No!